All right, what's up? Wake up, wealth up, everyone. It is Melanie Williams again coming to you from Boutique House Enterprises. You're a mompreneur and deal diva of the 21st century. Coming to you again with another uh, Thinking Money Out Loud. A while back, I gave you all a question about um, cash flow and how it is measured. Cash flow and income. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, most people, when they think about income and cash flow, they think of it as being one and the same, and that couldn't be far from the truth. Got my notes over here. Uh, income, income and cash flow are not one and the same. Your income is your dollars. That's how it's measured. Your cash flow is time, and it is measured in time. You could be a multi multi millionaire and still have a negative cash flow because you're either negative or you're positive let me explain how that works let's say you have a million dollars but you have two million dollars in expenses if you got fired or whatever and you have this million dollars your cash flow is six months long Remember I said cash flow is measured in time, income is measured in dollars. Your cash flow is only six months because you only have a million dollars, which is half of the two million you have in expenses, which means you can only make it a half a year, six months, with that one million dollars, with that two million dollar lifestyle you chose. You know, big houses, fancy cars, got to have all the best things, but you don't all have all the best money right now. On the other hand, you can have someone that's making say $80,000 a year and their expenses are $40,000 a year. They have a cash flow of two years because the 40,000 is only gonna eat up half of their $80,000 worth of income, which means that they can do absolutely nothing for two whole years and still be set off of what they've already made. Which one of them people you wanna be? That millionaire with that six month cash flow or that person making eighty thousand dollars with that two year cash flow. I'm taking eighty thousand for two years. So now you know the difference between your income and cash flow, and hopefully you just found out that your cash flow is way more important than your income. You get your cash flow up by uh, decreasing your taxes decreasing your debt and your expenses. That means you don't have to have the most expensive things, you know, just because you think you have the money for it. Because as I just gave you an example, you can have a million dollars, but if you got two million dollars in expenses, trying to keep up with all the highest, you know, the best, most expensive things, then your cash flow and how long you're gonna last with that is gonna be low. So I hope I gave you what's up so you can wake up and get your cash flow up, get your wealth up. Until the next time, we're thinking money out loud. See ya.